the so-called VP stakes kicking into high gear. This morning we're hearing from some of the Republicans on John McCain's shortlist. And for the Democrats, there is growing buzz about a so-called dream ticket. During her farewell speech on Saturday, Hillary Clinton made a promise. I will work my heart out to make sure that Senator Obama is our next president. And I hope and pray that all of you will join me in that effort. But does working her heart out include becoming Obama's running mate? It's not a job that she's seeking, uh, and uh, it's not a job that she's campaigning for. But she has made it clear during the campaign and now that she will do, as I've said, whatever she can and whatever she's asked. But this is Senator Obama's decision. It's his decision alone. A debate among top Democrats is whether Clinton will help or hurt. Look, everybody has some baggage. Hillary Clinton is well known. Uh, certainly, she had the popular vote in this election. That, that is something, and that is something tremendous. If you really want a winning ticket, this is it. Meanwhile, John McCain's running mate search has been underway for weeks. Friday, he was again seen with Florida Governor Charlie Crist, this time touring the Everglades. Also on the short list, Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty. I want to help him become the president because I think he'd be a great president. I don't have any designs on being vice president. Uh, somebody came to me and said that. Of course, he'd be honored to be mentioned, honored to be asked. It'd be difficult to turn that down. And still generating buzz, former rival Mitt Romney. He's got a lot of good people to choose from, and I trust he will.